I've been creating work as long as I can remember. My core training is as an actor, but I've always written, I've always dealt with the narrative, I've always told story, I've always animated story. I was never interested in things being just contained to a theater space. So when I began to bring these stories to life, well, the world had to be physicalized. And for me, it is about whatever is needed and whatever is required to tell the story or to create the moment. My interdisciplinary work that I'm doing right now is called fecund. And fecundity means the ability to produce abundantly. One of the things that the fecund brings is what I call the seeds of yes. So it's this whole idea of what is your yes? What is the yes that you're living into? Anytime that there is an experience that is affirming, that is an experience of yes. So if you are touching something, and if any part of you is like, ooh, I like that because it's rough, or soft, or plush, or easy, or whatever, you are having an experience of yes. So the book of yes is just one manifestation of the power of what yes feels like and the mark that yes leaves behind. My life has been a life of daring to say yes, of daring to live in the yes, of my creativity, of my artistry, of my individuality, of my uniqueness, of my difference. In the doing of that, I gleefully go through doors in myself. And I oftentimes have no idea where they're leading. But fear is not enough of a deterrent to not go.